Very well. So thanks for joining us today. My name is Mario Cuello from EPG. Uh, we're going to have today a webinar on EPG for small business, roughly about 30 minutes, part of a new series that we want to have between now and January. It will be a mix of some sales webinars along with uh, some technical webinars that are going to be performed by, uh, by Andy White. Uh, so the intention is to give you some uh, sectors where our product might be applicable, we'll give you some ideas uh, from a customer perspective, uh, help you push the product through. And, uh, and for those that are new to FPG, uh, love to see if we can uh, have your business. So we'll be recording this and I'll have the slides at the end that we'll have uh, Ash can send them to you. Uh, so we're just going to get started. Okay. Very well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about APG and uh, get on a couple of slides that are sort of the meat of what we want to uh, cover today and kind of touch on the surface without getting into a real deep doodle time. Uh, but obviously, at the end, we have a Q&A session and uh, you're welcome to ask me any questions or if I don't have the answer, we'll get them for you. So MPG is an American company, started back in the year 2000. Uh, we've been doing all the products from the ground up. We're about 30 employees uh, in three locations. Uh, it is based on proprietary hardware and software. Our appliances are our own design, um, as, as the same as the software too. It is not based on any open source platform like Astros or, or anything else. Uh, we've been doing appliances and gateways, uh, PBX appliance and gateways for over 22 years. And we just started doing cloud services uh, the last four years uh, with two products that we have on the cloud, ECMON for monitoring on our ECQX uh, PBX, our FPG cloud PBX. We focus on initially on small to medium business. Uh, today, we pretty much have the whole gamut from, from that to enterprise, uh, contact centers, hospitality, health, uh, educational institutions, government, and multi-site. Um, so initially started exclusively on the small to medium business, but definitely we have grown over the years. And our philosophy is service. Uh, you know, we feel that service is what it's all about. We can give you a good product with features, documentation, but at the end, you're gonna need our help in assisting you, dimensioning those opportunities you know, be able to, to configure those devices, explain to you the feature sets, and essentially work with you to be successful. So what is the advantage to the channel, to you? Uh, essentially, you're getting mature, feature-rich, quality products. Okay, Don't, not much to say about that there. Very reliable. I mean, we have been fine-tuning these products over the years. Uh, there's little quirks here and there, but for the most part, is very, very stable and reliable. Uh, we do have free software maintenance. So you as a channel don't have to pay for any maintenance on our software. You go to our portal, register on our portal, and you can download all the latest releases with the release notes and so forth. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, you can use your own SIP endpoint. And one of the biggest selling points, the fact that there's over 150 models and brands of if SIP phones out there in the market that would auto configure with our product. Uh, you know, we test them, uh, give you documentation on what software release and so forth. But it's a, it's a great uh, advantage because you don't have to, we don't force you to use an MPG phone. Uh, you can use whatever you like. And we do have a, an eco soft phone, which is our own product. And we pushed that one uh, quite a bit. Uh, Obviously, it works very well with our PBX and uh, very popular uh, nowadays uh, with mobility, which I'm going to cover a little bit later on. We have an excellent technical support team, uh, uh, guys in our two offices in Dallas and overseas in Yerevan, uh, and we actually include our development team in support too. So you pretty much have the entire uh, group of people assisting in support as necessary. The product is constantly improving. Uh, we always add new things. Most of them are features that people ask us to, uh, to have. Uh, you know, uh, channels ask us to ask, uh, add this or that, uh, and we listen to you. So, you know, if, if, if you need something, tell us about it. 
uh, we may be able to add it to the product uh, in, in a new release if, without any cost at all to you. Uh, but the idea here is that it's not a, a stale investment. You're always going to have the product constantly improving. There's no hidden cost, no upfront cost. Okay, so, you know, what you see is what you get. Uh, and uh, we're very clear upfront on, on what you're getting for what you pay. Uh, very good price points. Uh, we consider that our prices are very, very competitive compared to some other solutions. I think it gives you plenty of, of margin for you to make money, especially on the cloud solutions. Uh, so I, we believe we have a very good uh, offering in that, in that side. And of course, it's the best of both worlds. You know, we have cloud and on-premise products. Other advantages to the channel, to you, is that uh, we consider moving forward, what we're gonna offer will be like an APG ecosystem. I mean, now, now what we do is there's features on the product embedded but a lot of the new stuff is interactions with other applications, you know, to have what we call an ecosystem. And there, there's a few options we mentioned here. Uh, MS Teams integration, we do work with MS Teams. Uh, we have CRM integration, B-Tiger on Salesforce. Uh, hospitality integration with PMSs uh, through uh, some uh, partners, Char and Tiger TMS. Uh, WebRTC uh, connectivity in our cloud product and in our high end appliances, uh, Chrome extension click to dial to facilitate uh, clicking from any Chrome browser uh, and dial an extension. And, and actually on the bottom of this slide, you see there on the left, a little uh, square with an FPG logo on a green button. That is essentially the Chrome click to dial. You move in the mouse to a phone on any browser page and a little pop-up shows up and all you do is uh, you know click on the green button places a call to that destination number and attaches it to your extension. We also have Outlook click to dial for those who use Outlook. And then we have customers that use, uh, you know, cameras uh, or door openers or paging adapters that are SIP based. We can certainly configure those as an extension to the PBX and it has another dimension to the solution. And, you know, the EPE cloud monitoring service uh, is also part of this. APG advantages to the end user, okay? Uh, and this is a little bit new that we have added on the slide. We always focus on the channel. We're just trying to add some things that are more applicable to the end user, things that you may be able to extract from this presentation and then present yourself to your customers um, uh, to the benefits that they're gonna have using APG. But essentially mobility is, is one of the first ones. I, I mean, everybody, uh, wants to be mobile nowadays, after COVID, work from home, uh, you know, work from um, Starbucks, come to the office uh, when you're on vacation and all of that. So mobility is a big, a big topic moving forward. Uh, and one of the products that we have that helps a lot of, uh, into that uh, topic will be the eco soft phone. Uh, clear voice, our products are very clear. The voice is very fine tuned. Uh, choices of codecs, if you want to play with that, um, uh, uh, adjustments that you can make into in, 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 into what it is, the voice of system. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's very clear voice. Uh, secure system, the, the products are embedded and closed, uh, so it doesn't allow for any other application to be uh, uh, running on the same hardware. Uh, and we also have initiatives that you as a channel can program on the system, such as, for example, SIP IDS that make it more secure for your customer. Uh, feature rich, it includes uh, all of the features already on the base product. Um, reliable, uh, you know, and if they want to have redundancy options, we can, we can offer that too. Uh, we have it on the cloud and you can also purchase redundancy license for the on-prem equipment. Uh, flexibility with the ability to use many SIP endpoints, uh, very competitive prices, you know, at the end it's for the end user to save money. And uh, the fact that we have very advanced functions, uh, you know, we have some such, such as dial and announce, uh, park and page that are very unique to our product. And what we would like to do is, you know, what is what does the end customer need and then we figure out what are the features that apply best to them. And for that, we're here to help you 
uh, navigate those waters. Uh, we're going to be adding soon SMS, something that we have announced a little bit before, but now it's going to be uh, on an official release. Uh, again, another dimension in communication. So with ECO, you should be able to use, uh, be able to send and receive SMS messages to any phone. And of course, you can use your preferred uh, Ciptron provider. Uh, we have many that we have tested with um, and several of them that are good partners of ours, including uh, ClearFly. So again, a lot of this uh, bullet items in here, things that apply to the uh, reseller or to the channel, but here just kind of extending them, uh, things that you can present to your customer. Uh, Easymon, uh, just one slide on the Easymon. Uh, it, it's, uh, and I do have, we do have some other presentations I cover more in detail, but essentially it is a tool for you as a channel uh, to manage your devices, to get alarms uh, that you can configure, alert you to events. Many of could be uh, you know, uh, SIP IP phone registration or a trunk loss registration or bad quality call. There's over 70 events that you can program to alert you issues happening with your customer. It could be either on the on-prem device or on the cloud. And then there's uh, all sorts of statistics, uh, licensing, uh, CPU utilization, uh, concurrent call, uh, phones registered and so forth that you can get from the tool for each one of your uh, customers, as well as remotely being able to configure uh, these uh, devices through a dedicated VPN uh, from the tool. Now, actually, actually, that is very useful when you are um, installing on-prem devices. So you can make the config changes on those on-prem devices using our ECMON tool. So the idea is that you, you can be proactive providing better support to your customer and not be reactive, particularly on the uh, alarm uh, events uh, uh, options that we have. All right. We also want to mention here in one slide our e uh, Eco soft phone, um, and that is uh, available for Windows, Android, and Apple iOS. Uh, pretty much it's a complete soft phone. You can get uh, your uh, directories from PB, from the PBX, uh, Outlook, uh, if you have Outlook on Windows in this case, uh, and your mobile directories, and you can create your favorites, uh, your voicemail, uh, you can get it, uh, your call history, uh, you can establish presence if you like, uh, you can do video calls. Uh, and now we do have an instant messaging included on this between equal users, but we'll be adding that SMS soon. And then you can have multiple set accounts with multiple line appearances on each account. So very flexible in that sense. And if you want to have your own uh, logo uh, on the eco, you can do that, or you change your banner color, which is a default FE red, you can do that also. Uh, and lastly, there are 20 programmable BLF keys. Um, we call them MPK keys. Uh, and there you can have, you know, do not disturb, uh, cold park and retrieve, uh, general voicemail, watch extensions, speed dials, and so forth. So very flexible, um, pretty much allowed you to emulate what the user desk phone will be. And we do have a receptionist console option. So if you want to use eco for a receptionist phone, uh, you can activate the receptionist console and then she can do uh, watch uh, extensions and pretty much do whatever any receptionist would do with uh, a button phone. And lastly, we mentioned it uh, to configure as a parent-child uh, extension. And I'll mention a little bit more about that in, a, in our next slides. All right. So here's our, what we call a usage scenario, the small business. And the way we have this slide is, you know, what do the small business more or less is looking for and then how it can be implemented. Again, from a, from a top level, if we need to drill down on this in details, get with me and we can certainly uh, uh, look into more, into more detail. But, you know, they want mobility. Uh, you got a small a business, he's working with customers, he's on the road, he may be on the office, he may be having lunch, he needs to be mobile. Uh, in and out of the office, he needs to stay in contact with his customers. So he needs to be able to be mobile. Uh, he also needs to be able to be accessible uh, by the customers. When they call in, 
uh, and he wants to be reached, the phone has to ring, whether he's on the desk, on the mobile, at home, or whatever. Uh, he may be, he may need to redirect calls depending on the time of day. I mean, some guys may have uh, calls coming into a, a person in the office, but at four, they wanted to go to, let's say, a general voicemail or may want to use the IBR or redirect it uh, to a different extension or location. Uh, they want to be able to retrieve their voicemails remotely. You know, people left voicemail during the day. They may want to do a quick audio conference. You want to, uh, you know, start an audio conference uh, right away with a colleague in the office and add participants, and you can certainly do that with us. They may want to combine access control. Uh, you know, some of the small office, they may have a, a door opener. I mean, I know you can use Ring and some of these other products, but you can also use CyberData or 2N or Access uh, door opener and uh, connect it uh, through the PBX and then be able to uh, see who's at the door, even when you're not in the office, you know, and, uh, and maybe even open the door for them using the keypad. And again, security, uh, you know, they, they want to have a secure system. Uh, they're busy during their functions. They don't want to mess around and, and, and have holes on this. And obviously, you as a, as a channel, as an integrator, is your responsibility to make sure if you're providing the networking, the networking product and the router and so forth to, to make it robust. But uh, our product allows you to make uh, a more secure system also. And they also want PBX configuration changes. You know, they don't want to mess around with changing names. Uh, you as a channel uh, can help them do that function uh, using our ECMOM tool, for example. So these are just some examples of things that a small business is going to be looking for. And to do those, uh, there are several functions that can apply to that configurable in our system uh, from parent-child extensions uh, using the equal and, and, and that one um, actually I think it's a point to explain it uh, is very popular configuration you know you may have a desk phone a Yalink or Grandstream or whatever and you want to have our equal in your laptop or in your mobile device and you can connect it to your parent which is your desk phone as a parent-child configuration on the QX and what it is is that they're all one and the same. It doesn't matter what outbound call you make, whether it's from the laptop or your desk phone, it comes out as from your extension and vice versa. Incoming calls are gonna ring all phones and you can answer it wherever you are. Very, very uh, flexible. Uh, you can also use Find Me, Follow Me or multiple extension ringing, which are more traditional functions. Um, the usage of the IVR, the configuration of a general voice mailbox. In this case, you can get an incoming call, let's say, uh, to sales, and then it fills, it goes to a general voice mailbox, and you can have BLS buttons on the phones. Anybody can pick up those uh, emails and listen to them and respond to the customer. Or you may have a day-night service uh, where you can use a key or a key or a key code on the on the keypad to essentially switch between an IVR uh, receptionist or different extensions for incoming calls. Uh, it's typically known as day night service. Uh, group pickup, audio conferencing, phone book, and ECMON. Uh, phone book actually is, is a very popular one. You can, besides the, the uh, extensions on the PBX, a lot of people are multi-site. You know, they may be able to import a phone book in all the QX devices, which in effect it gets pushed into the actual phone uh, phone directory. So. Not only can you have the extensions of the phone, but you can have also a customer-based directory available to you on the phone. Now, an extension to this uh, SMB will be more uh, like on a small enterprise. And here, uh, the same uh, functions or needs for uh, a small business applies. But in addition to that, a small enterprise may have remote users, uh, definitely you're probably going to be using a receptionist uh, or, or an IBR, either one or many, which you can do with us. Um, they may have multiple trunks, uh, multiple DIDs. Uh, they may be able to have web uh, site with click to dial, you know, using the web RTC option where customers can click to dial on the website and then sales, uh, I mean, calls coming in via web RTC to, to a sales department. Uh, or they may want to run small call centers. We have customers that 
that want to have a, a, a small call center and they use that functionality, they want to have a, agents are log in, log out, and supervisors managing those agents, and they essentially create a small call center on their PBX, uh, a mix of endpoints, system reliability, and again, these are all can be achieved by uh, programming uh, all of these functions, including hot desking, uh, multiple um, uh, IVRs or IVR history that allows you also to do um, uh, for example, survey campaigns. Yeah, you can talk, to, you know, sales can have, talk to a customer and then ask them, hey, do you want to do a survey? And then send them to the IVR. Well, it all be automated and the customer can reply to the IVR prompts and voila, you have a survey available for you to review. I think the rest of these are pretty much what I have mentioned. Uh, there's also class of service that you can apply on different phones. Uh, you can do pin code. Authorization, we have, that is used uh, widely overseas where certain extensions or low distance routes are not allowed until you enter a PIN code. Uh, and of course, paging uh, one or multiple zones, uh, call recording, uh, emergency interrupt and redundancy. Uh, these, again, we have other presentations with more details on these features, but the intent today was just to give you an exposure to them, so. All right. Uh, we do have a cloud product, and uh, which is the ECQX Cloud PBX. It essentially we're hosting it as a cloud PBX, but we don't do SIP termination. You bring your own SIP trunk to do the termination, and you know, like I mentioned before, we tested many vendors uh, of that. Uh, ease of end prompt provisioning. You know, you, you actually configure it on the GUI. Uh, of the uh, PBX, it is instance based. So it is one uh, instance uh, per customer in our cloud. So it uh, gives you a little bit more freedom and independence. Uh, and again, it auto configures uh, most of the SIP phones the same way the on-prem devices do. Uh, and you do the configuration via the GUI. So you go to our portal called epigcloud.com and you get an account. And there's an online store where you can order our PBX there and uh, any other options. And you pay on it. You pay it through uh, PayPal on monthly um, uh, billing. And uh, we are also on the Clearfly uh, customer portal. It's a, a recent addition. Uh, Clearfly is a partner of ours on the SIP trunk. And they have an excellent um uh, offering by the fact that you can buy from them our cloud PBX, the SIP trunk, plus they can do billing services for you uh, to your customers. So it's a complete service offering. Uh, you want to check them out. Um, they're a great partner uh, of ours uh, in our uh, ecosystem. And uh, in our cloud, the PBX includes the eco soft phone. In our appliances, uh, that is a separate license that you activate, but the eco soft phone is included. Uh, no software license to buy or maintenance or support cost is all included. Uh, no long-term contracts on this, okay? And we also have what we call an ECQX ISO option. We have certain carriers that want to use our software, uh, certain partners that are more self-sufficient uh, in that sense, and they want to run their own cloud, administer their PBXs, their redundancy, their DNS, uh, and uh, uh, all of that infrastructure, and we have that as an option. In this case, we license to use the uses of the software, and uh, you, take, you run with the rest of the configuration. Okay, and in our portal, uh, what you do is uh, there is uh, uh, a few items for you to order. There are bundles of uh, ECQX, either three, five, 10, 20, or 40 extensions. And the bigger the bundle, the cheaper it gets. Um, I, from the three, which is about roughly five, uh, 75 or $6 uh, for per extension per month, uh, down to about $4, a little bit less per extension per month uh, when you have 40 extensions. So it's very reasonable pricing per month per extension. Gives you plenty of margin to add up uh, the SIP trunk and make a good margin uh, uh, when you sell this to your customer. 
You can add uh, another soft phone licenses. You can add a CRM integration, uh, an e-call receptionist, and we also have um, a call center bundle, includes several call center uh, products in one license or call recording uh, that you can add. Or if you want to add individual extensions to your bundle, you can do the same. Okay. Uh, PBX appliances. Uh, we have several models. Uh, the pictures are here. Uh, but let me just mention what are the end user benefits of using these appliances. You know, if you want to use the Cape, want to go the CAPEX route, not the recurring revenue route, uh, and I'm talking about the customer using cloud, uh, they invest on the PBX upfront. They buy the phones and voila, you're done. These things run for 10 to 15 years. Okay. And it's very low uh, capital investments. We got uh, products that are very cheap. For example, the QX20 you see on the picture retails uh, for 385. And, uh, and of course, you as a channel get a discount on that. But um, uh, so it's, it's very economical for those uh, customers that want to invest uh, on the equipment and they want to have it on premise. Again, very reliable apply, appliance, uh, a secure device. You can activate all these IDS and routers and, uh, uh, and uh, secure your product for uh, external access or prohibit it from external access based on the configuration. Uh, all the features are included. Some are extra ones with licenses. And if you are in the SMB small office, you know, 20, 50, and 200 that you see here in the picture, it, it has an embedded uh, firewall DHCP server router. And you don't need to have anything else for a small office. You can put on the LAN port, not only your phones, but your computers, and uh, manage the uh, the router within the PBX for your customer. All you got to do on the WAN port is connect to broadband. Okay, and these products, again, are not obsolete. We're always doing a new uh, software release. So it's ideal for one location or multi-locations. If you go multi-locations, you can connect all these devices together on a unified dial plan. If you do two, three-digit dialing, you can reach any extension on each location. Plus, you can also route calls from one location to the other and then grab a local SIP trunk. For example, you may have a location in France, you want to call a French customer, you dial from a U.S. extension, a French number, it goes out to the France box, it grabs a local SIP trunk there, and it uh, injects the digits and calls your local number. Okay, so we got uh, from 12 to 5,000 extensions. Uh, there's redundancy options. You can rack these uh, little boxes. There are small metal boxes with an AC power integrated. And here are the first three, 20, 50, and 200. Uh, the 50 and 200 are hybrid, FXS and FXO. All the others are all purely IP. And then here are the rest. There's a 60, 100, 500, 3,000, and 5,000. And uh, again, uh, for more details on that, let me know, and I'll, I can provide you price and uh, more details on them. We also have gateways. You can use them as independent gateways uh, without our PBX, but they're pretty much work very well with our PBX. If you want to add either T1, FXO, or FXS ports, in the case of FXS for hotels, for example, or nursing homes, for example, that use analog phones, uh, they integrate very well with our PBX and uh, very reliable, include LAN and one port. And then we also have BRI, ISDN, uh, gateway we use uh, overseas. And finally, our roadmap. I'm trying to stick to the half hour here. So uh, a very important slide gives you a snapshot of what we have coming. Uh, and SMS, which I mentioned earlier, is uh, one of those. We are finishing a new release for the QX that includes some options for SMS. And um, uh, we already have a release for the Windows eCall. And then there's going to be a release for uh, iOS and Android shortly in the next uh, two or three weeks. But uh, the gist of it is as follows. Uh, uh, we're adding capability on eCall to send receive SMS messages through a connection 
of an SMS provider. And that means you can send SMS to any, uh, any phone out there through that provider. Uh, and uh, there are many options on how you can configure this. You can have DID numbers assigned to equal for SMS, or uh, the same way you can have DID numbers assigned to equal for SIP trunks, for example. Uh, or you can have, for example, one DID for SMS assigned to the QX that is going to be used by the equal users. So uh, that means that uh, you can send SMSs out using the QX DID for SMS. And then when you receive an SMS, if you want to receive it on that e-call, you need to have a dedicated uh, uh, SMS DID for that, right? But we're also providing the capability of uh, creating automatic uh, conversations. Uh, and, and I'm going to illustrate it by an example. Let's say you have a sales and a marketing team. And uh, you're telling customers that if they want to text you, text you to this DID. Uh, they can send an SMS to that DID. The QX receives it, and it is the, DI, the DID for the sales group. It would automatically open a conversation among the sales group participants, equal participants, with the customer. And now any one of those uh, participants can answer back to the customer Everybody is on the conversation, and then others may be able to drop off or mute themselves uh, once the uh, conversation gets uh, handled by, let's say, one sales associate. You can do the same thing and support and so forth. So it gives you the capability to be very flexible in how you want to manage your SMSs uh, by having this automatic conversations. Uh, we're going to be adding an option there that is a signature on a text. So Let's say you reply to an SMS uh, and uh, you were using the company uh, SMS number. And uh, if the customer wants to call you, uh, that is not the number to call you because it's not configured for voice. Uh, you may send a text to that customer and then that SMS will have a, a signature in the bottom where you can say, for example, if you need to talk to me, call me at this at this number. So again, trying to give you some options on how you can uh, manipulate the usage of voice uh, DIDs and SMS DIDs on the QX. Now, SMS works for certain carriers. Well, it, it works with Twilio, uh, with Telnix, and also with, with Clearfly. And, uh, and other uh, carriers may be added later on. The reason is, is that everybody has a different interface or API to be able to provide uh, that termination. Now, the last thing is that all these SMSs, there's going to be uh, an SMS detail record or a call detail record for SMSs on the QX. So you're going to have the history of the text back and forth from, from each uh, conversation. And it's actually useful for those uh, uh, administrators that want to keep tabs on, you know, who, what kind of text their sales team is uh, is having with their customers, for example. I mean, the same way you can record calls or you can have call detail records, uh, now you have an SMS records available on your QX. Other roadmap items are um, uh, we're interrupting or testing Avaya J-Series phones. Uh, these are open SIP uh, phones, uh, and we tested them in the lab, and they work okay. So if you have customers that have these phones and they don't want to use an Avaya, uh, PBX and want to use FPG, uh, you should be able to use them. They're manually configured, not automatically configured yet, but uh, you can use them. And we're also adding integration with third-party E911. Uh, uh, we're adding options where you can uh, essentially, through APIs, through third-party services, uh, be able to provide location information uh, to that third-party service uh, for you know to meet uh, Ray Baum and and carry soil mandates on the federal government, uh, make it a little bit easier than some of the traditional methods for uh, location services when you dial in 911. Uh, adding some new yelling and family phones to the mix, and finally we're trying to wrap up integration with Zoho CRM. I've uh, been working with the Zoho guys uh, to finish that up. We should be available on their website as one partner uh, very soon. 